Hello all, today we'll be discussing how we can deploy a deep learning model with the help of Flask. Uh, in this particular example, I'm basically going to use a transfer learning process which is called as ResNet and I'm trying to deploy that. I'll deploy that using Flask. And uh, before going ahead, guys, let me just show you a demo how it looks like. Uh, ResNet uh, is basically the transfer learning the algorithm of the, the technique that I've basically used is this called as ResNet. Uh, it is a transfer learning kind of technique where I have basically loaded the weights of ImageNet only. Now, if you don't know about ImageNet, ImageNet is basically a competition uh, where, you know, different kind of uh, neural networks uh, with respect to convolution neural network that like uh, VG16 we have, we have like ResNet, we have like DenseNet, MobileNet. So all these things, they have come over here, like they have basically won the competition in the ImageNet classification. So ImageNet classification is basically about categorizing thousand different categories. So let us just see an example. So suppose I go and choose a particular image a panda and if I do the prediction it will basically show me a giant underscore panda and similarly if I go and see for a bird so this looks like a Macau so this Macau is net, nothing but it is a bird which is quite famous in the equatorial region you can see over here uh, this is this was a demo like this is my web uh, the front end of my web app and uh, I'm actually interacting with an API which is hosted uh, using the flask and you can also choose different different images again uh, let us see and just try to open up a snake image and try to predict okay this is like side window this is also a kind of snake only basically just showing the name of the snake now you can see that side window is also there uh, and this is the demo all about and what we are going to do is that i'm just going to show you the code and how you can actually uh, deploy this particular process again with guys uh, here it is. Uh, please do import. Uh, all this code will be given in the GitHub. It is completely free for you. Uh, make sure you utilize it uh, and try to practice by your own. Okay. So initially, you just import all these libraries, which is with which is with respect to Keras and all the other necessary libraries. Then what you have is that you just define the Flask app. This is simple because in my previous uh, two videos, I've also shown you how you can deploy a machine learning model. And an NLP model, so you should be pretty much clear if you have seen that. If you have not seen that, it's well and good. Go and just see to it. Um, it's just hardly five to ten minutes. Then what I do is that initially, um, now initially my model is not created. Okay, I have to import that model. And again, when I'm importing ResNet, I will basically be getting this model from the Keras dot application. So what you can do is that just uh, type down from Keras dot application ResNet, import ResNet fifty, and here you initialize ResNet fifty with the weights ImageNet. That's it. As soon as you get that value in your model, your model will be created. You just say model.save and just give the path where you want to save the model. I've saved the model currently inside my model folders. So here it is model ResNet 5, model VG16. I've tried with both with ResNet and VG16. It worked pretty, uh, pretty well with both these algorithms. Okay. So what you can do is that once you do this, right, you don't have to run it again and again because your model will get created. So you can just comment down this particular code. Okay. Then you have to uncomment this particular code. Why you're uncommenting this particular code basically means that you're trying to read the H5 file directly from the model folder itself. So here it is, you're just reading it from the model folder, then you do load more load model and model underscore predict function. Now, this was basically loading your model, okay? The next thing is that, how do you define your app route now? now this app route is basically for a root folder, which will be like a get, which will not, it will, which will, uh, which will do nothing but just show you their home page, which is present in index.html. So index.html is basically present inside this template folder. Um, so template folder is basically having index.html. So by default, the render template will be index.html for your root path. Now the next thing is that for the predict path, which is my API, what I have to do is that, what I have done is that I've just created a function called as upload. Uh, as soon as the person uploads the picture in the web app, what I do is that first of all, I store that image inside a path, which is called as uploads. Okay, I store this image over here. So you can see all the images get stored and that is the code. This is the code which will store that particular image. As soon as I store this particular image, you just have to go and hit on model underscore predict. Inside this, I'll just give the file path, which is my image path and then my model, which I have loaded earlier. Now, if I go and see what is my model underscore predict, inside model underscore predict what I'm doing is that I'm loading the image from the image path and then I'm converting into an array finally I'm expanding the dimensions and I'm doing the pre-process input this is basically a normal step that we usually do and finally we do model dot predict 
soon as we do the prediction, we get the prediction over here. And based on that, we are just going to select the categories of the prediction and try to convert that back into a string by using decode underscore prediction. This is a normal uh, ResNet uh, and it is available in the Keras documentation also. And finally, my main function from which I'm actually running my app. That's it. This is quite simple, just hardly 80 lines of code in this particular file. You just have all your folders set. All you have to do is that run your file. That's it. Now, in order to run it, what you have to do is that uh, I'll just show, open Anaconda prompt again. So Anaconda prompt here, what you have to do is that just go to this particular path, just copy this path, you know, the D drive, I'll say CD. And here you just have to write Python app.py. That's it. As soon as you press enter, I'm not going to press enter because already my uh, backend it is running. You can see in my another command prompt, it is already running in this particular port. You just have to press enter, uh, then you'll suddenly get your uh, local address and your port number from where it is running. Then after that, you just have to open this, you know, just load it once, and then you can choose whatever you want. You see, do the prediction. This great pioneer. This is a kind of dog, breed of dog, basically. So you can see it over here. Your images, and this is your breed of dog. I saw one. I had also uploaded one pink bird. Let's see. This is a. There's a pattern. Yes, in this bird a lot. So more images of her. I don't think so. This is categorized properly, but that is what this particular model says. Uh, so this was about this particular session, guys. I hope you like this particular video. Make sure you subscribe the channel, like, comment, share with all your friends who ever acquired this. I tried to search in the internet a lot of things regarding how to deploy a deep learning model. I was not able to get a lot. But as we go ahead in the deployment part, I'm also going to show you a CDC, CI CD deployment with respect to Azure wherein everything will be automated, your requirement gathering, your model processing, your feature engineering, your feature selection, everything, every steps, and finally your deployment part. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys, and I hope you're liking this particular video. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. God bless you all. Thank you one and all.